you said a 620 is what you've got to have to go a conventional loan, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, at 620, what is your down payment on a conventional loan? So you have two options on conventional, right? A lot of consumers out there doesn't know, a lot of lenders doesn't promote this, but Fannie does have a 3% down program, right? So you got a 3% down and you have a 5% down. Now there is differences in, in between the two. So anytime that you're looking at lower, you're going below the standard conventional guidelines, then you know, there's going to be things that you have to do, income qualification, Correct. right? You cannot make $300,000 a year and thinking you can put 3% down. Right? <laughs> just, that's where your 5% comes in. Um, and while we're on the conventional loan, so a lot of consumers are like, well, I don't have 20% to put down, right? So how many times have you heard that? I've heard that quite often. Do not need 20% down. All 20% down to all of you Dave Ramsey fans that listen to Dave Ramsey, he wants you to put 20% down and do a 15-year term. Correct. Well, in the true reality of the world, who has 20% down and can do a 15 year term? Not many people. So I can show you how to amortize and get to a 15 year on a 30 year amortization. I mean, but really, if you just make one extra payment a year on your, on your house note, it'll drop it off seven and a half years. So, I mean, you're, you're already halfway there, mm -hmm. but don't make two payments a year it only drops it to nine years it's not it's not worth it. yeah so so it's basically it's your amortization right so you make one extra payment a year you amortize a 30-year loan to a 22-year loan